is Carrie with Motor City Needle Arts. And today's stitch recipe card is the garter stitch. I have a new student who's learning the garter stitch and it is probably the most popular stitch to learn if you're an absolute beginner. Uh, it's a great stitch. Uh, even for advanced knitters, uh, we use it for the borders, the edge of a cuff. Uh, it's reversible, it's elastic, and it's relaxing to do because you don't have to worry about changing the stitch. You're doing the same thing with every stitch. Um, I've been knitting for a long time. Uh, and I still enjoy garter stitch. Just to give you an idea of how long I've been knitting, this practice yarn is Red Heart Sport Yarn, which is number two as rated by the Craft Yarn Council Standard Yarn Weight System. It's also known, again, as Sport Yarn. You can see the label here. For those of you that remember the blue light specials, this is a this was purchased at Kmart's for $1.09, probably in the 80s. So that gives you some idea how long I've been knitting. But this stitch, I'm going, I'm going to show you how to do the garter stitch if you're an absolute beginner. I'm using four millimeter bamboo needles. These are actually double pointed needles. Beginners should probably use straight needles. Uh, I've cast on 10 or 20 stitches. Don't worry about casting on. Find a friend or your mom or grandma to cast on 10 or 20 stitches for you. Otherwise it'll be a little, it'll just be a lot easier if you don't have to worry about the cast on. Always keep the yarn in the back. I'm right-handed. The method I'm going to be showing you is the standard continental method, where you're holding the, 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 the working needle is in your right hand, if you're right-handed, and you're holding the, the fabric in your left hand. With the standard continental method, you're inserting the needle knit-wise, which is from the left to the right. And the, the stitch is mounted on the needle with its front leg to the right. This is called the front leg, and the back leg is to the left. So you insert your needle from the left into the front leg like that and for the first couple of rows you can just wrap it by hand that's what I do until I get enough fabric below the needle so that I can hold on to it and pinch it pull it through and use this finger here you kind of push that needle in your left hand back so that it'll come off poke it in from the left to the right. And usually you have to, almost always, not usually always, you have to tug this a little bit because that first stitch and that last stitch tends to be kind of loose. So here we go again. I'm gonna go real slow. I'm just holding this out. I'm gonna wrap the yarn around the needle. I'm wrapping it counterclockwise if you're looking down the needle. And then I'm pulling it through, kind of push on that end of the needle and pull the stitch off. So you can kind of see I'm coming around from the left through the right, tug on that a little bit, wrap it around clock, counterclockwise, pull it through, start pushing a little bit on that needle that's in your left hand and pull it off. I tend to just tug on that gently after every stitch just to get it even and lined up. So stick it in 
from the left, push it through to the right, wrap it around counterclockwise or from front to back. Use the tip of your needle to bring it through and then push on the end of the needle that's in your left hand gently and pull that stitch off. This is known as inserting the needle knit-wise. As you're doing a knit stitch and you're doing the same thing on every stitch. Insert it knit-wise, wrap that around, pull it through, kind of push on that so you can pull it off. Insert it knit-wise, wrap the yarn around, pull it through, push the needle, pull it off. Get a little bit more experience and a little bit more fabric to grab onto, then you pinch the fabric that you made that's hanging below the needle to get a little bit of tension on this yarn. And I, I knit Norwegian style, which is to keep that yarn short. Let's see how it going from the left to the right, which is knit called knit wise the yarn, push a little bit there and pull it off, and then as it starts to feel more natural to you, you'll start to speed up. This method of continental knitting with the Norwegian style of holding the yarn close is the fastest in my experience and gives you the most even stitch. So we do that all the way to the, the end. bit more attention because it typically gets stretched out. So you, the nice thing about knitting is, if, is you don't need a fidget. You, you fiddle with the fabric. You know, you, you'll see experience knitters fiddling with like that, so getting it so it's even. Then when you get to the end of the row, you can turn it around and do the same thing all over again. So remember, keep the yarn in the back, Insert your needle knitwise, which is from the left to the right. Wrap the yarn around counterclockwise. Pull the yarn through. Push on the needle so you can get the, the stitch off. And the first and last stitches usually you have to fiddle with a little bit. You tuck on it just gently so it's even with the other ones. The same thing. Are, again have someone do the cast on for you so you don't get frustrated because the cast on is trickier than than doing the stitch and it takes longer to learn avoid splitting the yarn it's especially as you get if you use heavier yarns you want to be careful not to split the yarn like that it just looks funny. It's kind of hard to fix without unraveling. And again, your first few rows are going to be wonky looking. They're, they're not going to be even. They're look, going to look funny. That's normal. Just keep going. And, and eventually, with practice, you'll learn how to do a nice, even garter stitch. And if you're like most knitters, you'll make a nice scarf for someone got eight or nine months until Christmas so there you go that's it for flash and sew stitch recipe card number one see you next time